It's your boy the Hot Rod still here and today we're going to be logging in another entry to the Quirk Registry by examining the Quirk Electrification. Electrification is an emitter type quirk that allows the user to emit electricity from their body. The user of this quirk is a first year at UA Academy who goes by Denki Kaminari. His chosen hero name is Stun Gun Hero Charge Bolt. The dictionary definition of electrification is the action or process of charging or powering something with electricity. Electrification is used to charge and power many of the items we use today such as light bulbs, phones, TVs, and probably the device you are using to watch this video. The National Academy of Engineering called electrification the greatest engineering achievement of the 20th century. This quirk allows Denki to electrocute anyone who comes into contact with the electricity he emits from his body. It acts somewhat like a protective shell and it leaves his enemies or opponents temporarily paralyzed. If Denki emits enough electricity, it will discharge in all directions shocking all of those who are close to him. Denki can also be used as a lightning rod and absorb discharges from his enemies. The more electricity he absorbs, the more he can discharge later. This ability can also be used to charge electronics which brings us back to the definition of electrification. One of the downsides of this quirk is that it really isn't built for long range attacks. A higher output and voltage will shock in all directions, which makes using this quirk impractical when allies are around. And even if Denki is by himself surrounded by a lot of enemies, using a high amount of voltage to attack could push him to his voltage limit. Once he hits that limit, his brain short circuits, which makes him really dumb and unable to activate his quirk or do anything really for a whole hour. In this state, he is completely harmless and very easy to defeat. So it isn't wise to use a high voltage attack until he knows for sure his opponents will go down. While this quirk is very powerful, there are measures one could take to protect themselves from Denki's discharges. If you cover yourself in an insulated material, you would be protected from the electricity since they are bad at conducting it. This fact makes people like Momo Yayorozu and Ibari Shiozaki natural counters to electrification since Momo can create insulated materials to protect herself and Ibari's vines are well insulated. She actually trapped Denki in a vine prison that he couldn't break out of. This quirk would also be ineffective against others with electric type quirks. Because of the drawbacks of this quirk, Denki has to constantly hold back, not just to avoid hitting his voltage limit, but also to make sure his friends don't get damaged by his attacks. However, he obtained gear created by Mei Hatsume which aids him in discharging electricity more safely. The way it works is he fires projectiles called pointers which stick to surfaces. They attract his released energy in a linear fashion which therefore would only shock those who are between Denki and the pointers in a straight line. He has to be within 10 meters of the pointer which isn't the furthest range but it's way better than having no range at all. It's in my opinion one of the best support items created because it greatly enhances the efficiency and versatility of this quirk in a really simple way. A miscellaneous fact about this quirk, in order to train electrification, Denki ran current of his electricity into a high capacity battery. The purpose of this was to help him handle larger amounts of electricity and hopefully nullify some of the side effects. And a truly useless fact, Denki's first name translates to electrical electricity and his surname Kaminari is pronounced the same way as the Japanese word for thunder. When compared to most quirks, this one is actually pretty cool. Not only is it useful for hero work, but since it can be used to charge and power electronics, there are so many practical uses for this quirk as well. However, I personally wouldn't want to have this quirk because the side effects effect of becoming a dummy for an hour is too severe for my tastes. I might not have much of it, but I value my intelligence a lot, and one of the scariest things to me is the idea that it can be taken away. Not to mention, we don't know if there are any long-term side effects to short-circuiting your brain. Academically, Denki is at the bottom of class 1A, and I'm starting to believe it's because he fried his brain cells one too many times. Denki didn't get to choose this quirk, but he's made really efficient use of it so far. I am sure that he will grow and evolve this quirk and become a great hero in the future. And with that, I think we can officially commit electrification to the Quirk Registry.